saying goodbye to my trusty knee scooter. It's probably not the best thing because state fair is coming up. But saying goodbye, so goodbye, old friend. <laughs> I gotta leave it out so people can come, uh, come get it. It's crazy. I have so much going on all at once. Saying goodbye to my scooter, starting a new job. I'm like walking in flip flops. I mean, I'll take it, right? I'm like parked in the bushes here. So, yep, yeah, it's a. Uh, bittersweet day saying goodbye to that thing <laughs> I uh, did a lot in a knee scooter and uh, it's kind of nice that I feel com comfortable enough to uh, get rid of it so hmm, what do you do There she is. I said goodbye. They came and picked it up um, shortly thereafter, and it's been a really hard thing for me because I spent three months in this thing. I just cannot believe it. So, goodbye to my trusty speed. <laughs> I am going to miss this guy a lot, and um, hopefully it does some good to somebody else who really needs it. the next day as you can see there's a lot of discoloration I'm still having the RSD symptoms the reflex sympathy dystrophy and it causes a lot of nerve pain a lot of discoloration a lot of swollenness so you can see how badly swollen that, that ankle is and it's just getting to the point where it's just too much I mean it's so painful the um, symptoms aren't really we're not really sure if they're gonna go away Thursday. Not a lot has happened this week. I'm uh, about to go to PT. It's like really early in the morning. Um, I'm in tennis shoes. <laughs> I've uh, made it to 13 weeks post op, um, which is kind of weird, I guess. I, uh, man, 13 weeks, you know? Say goodbye to my knee scooter and um, we're gonna try to go to the state fair this weekend um, there's been a lot of political stuff going on with this with this group I won't even mention their name because it pisses me off but they're um, planning on being there Saturday which really sucks because like the Saturday after the fair actually like opens is like one of the best days to go but I'm a little concerned because of my ankle my ankle is sore all the time you know but um yeah you know I've I've been feeling pretty good I did do a workout a couple days ago was it Tuesday um at the time felt great and then yesterday I was just really sore and hurting and then now I woke up this morning with with swelling and pain and I iced my foot and stuff last night and that seemed to help but um, I'm just so over it <laughs> I'm so over the nerve pain and the um, like the discoloration um, I know it's really hard to yeah, I can't show you because I'm wearing tennis shoes but it's like one foot is purple and the other foot is like my normal yellow skin <laughs> you know like my olive colored skin it's just, it's crazy. And then it's like one minute, it's fine. It feels great. 
and I'm not doing anything. I'm literally just, you know, lounging on the couch. And then the next minute when I go to stand up and like go to do something or go to the bathroom, it's swollen like a basketball. And it's like, it doesn't make any sense. Like it has a mind of its own. It's kind of, this ankle situation has kind of turned into like its own little entity. I don't know. It's like, it's just like this evil villain. Like that's just, happens to be just be there and I'm over it I'm really over it but I've been trying to stay motivated and stuff and it's been nice to be able to go to the gym and I can do some things and um, luckily my job is so low-key I can I'm sitting at a desk which is great super great um, great for my ankle I uh, I am enjoying that a lot because it's been I think it's helping me progress really um, my therapist was saying that we're gonna we're gonna try to we're gonna try to zone in a little bit more on the scar tissue breakdown um, that seems to be a big issue for me there's a lot of indentation in the skin and um, it's just that scar tissue is just so deep in there that it's just not breaking apart as it should be. And the that scar tissue needs to break up just so I can gain some flexibility in that area. So he's gonna really try to work on like massage therapy, get that figured out. And then my, my part of it is I need to continue to work on my strengthening. Um, strengthening the Achilles is going to be really important and um, strengthening the muscles in the foot and in the ankle so that's what I'm trying to do without fracturing it and without re-rupturing it so that's the goal um, I'm hoping we're help I'm hoping that I'm now kind of somewhat back on track um, now that I kind of know what what to do and not to do I've been experimenting a lot um, I think it's good I need to really scale back on some of the weightlifting stuff um, not that I've been doing anything crazy but it's just you know in my mind I think I can do something and then the next day it's like mm, you shouldn't have done that even though I, I could do it um, but yeah I'm gonna go to PT and hope that my foot cooperates and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get an update here on what the therapist says, so. Hey you guys, so I'm at work and I'm about to just take a quick little break and do some, I don't know, some ankle stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It's kind of, kind of weird. So um, yeah, let's, I'll show you guys. So here's the bottom of my desk. I got these awesome shoes that slip on and off and they've been great for work because having stuff on the back of my heel really hurts. So this is my bad leg over here and this is my good leg. And you can actually see through the sock, like how thick that is, it's swollen. So what I have to do is like do some ankle pumps so I do a couple of those and I can also, you know, do circles. Um, I have to try to stretch my toes so they, and like do calf raises and that sort of thing. I mean, when I try to flex my foot, so my good leg obviously can flex pretty far as you can see. Bad leg, that's as far as I can get it. It just won't go any farther, it just stops. And my calf is really tight. Like it's, I mean, it doesn't jiggle at all. Same with the other side. So it's just kind of, I don't know, you can kind of see that difference there. But yeah, 13 weeks, you guys. I came out of the cast looking like this. I mean, my foot was literally pointed. You can even see the indentation through the sock. Like that's how bad it is. Look at that. So, hoping we can break that up a little bit. So yeah, really hoping to break up that scar tissue so it can kind of get back to normal. I mean, you can kind of see how it like pooches up. Like it's not supposed to do that. 
I mean, you guys can probably feel on your ankle, like when you push the skin together, it, it moves freely and normal. And mine, it just doesn't. I mean, there's just nothing there. So that's going to be a huge limiting factor to my progress. And then, as you can see, the discoloration, I mean, it's, it's like purple, purple. It's like that all the time, and it hurts. I get nerve pain on the top of my foot. I mean, you can see it's like I'm sunburned, but I haven't been in the sun. And it's just like that all the time. So, it kind of sucks, but as you, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been kind of depressed lately about it, my ankle, cause I saw like Julie Fouché came out with a video and she's already like squat snatching and other people are who had surgery right after me they're already doing squats and they're running and you know it's just like yeah I'm a little jelly and frustrated because I'm just not there so I'm trying to be positive as much as I can but it's just really sucky and it really is taking a toll on me so Josh keeps reminding me though that you know I'm three months in now and they said that it's probably going to be until you know six months out before I really see some progress so I'm halfway there so I'm just trying my best and trying to stick it out with the pain and it just sucks so those of you that are out there in the same boat as me I feel you you're not alone <laughs> and I sure as hell hope I'm not alone so so yeah, that's my 13 week update and you know, I will keep you guys posted. Bye. So I read this quote earlier. It says in the end, it all comes down to one word, grace. And I really feel like I'm trying my best to, to keep up with that. It's been difficult, but I know in the end, I am hoping that I deal with this gracefully. So thanks you guys for continuing to support me. Please subscribe if you like keeping up with my progress and seeing how my ankle is doing. And then make sure you're subscribing. And then also just thanks for watching and thanks for all of the supportive words and the encouragement.